Is California wasting its water? That's one of the top questions that we're answering all this week on To The Point. The ABC 10 weather team is investigating where our water is going and if we're wasting it. Tonight, Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods explains what's happening with our water above ground in our reservoirs. We built our water system in California principally around scarcity. Two out of three years, we don't have enough water. To address that scarcity, California built one of the most elaborate water conveyance systems in the world, capturing snowmelt runoff, storing it above and below ground, then moving it vast distances. Without it, California wouldn't be the economic powerhouse it is today. But that system is being pushed to meet multiple needs from water storage to flood control. Several vehicles stranded. Plus recreation, hydropower, and the environment. So we ask a lot of these reservoirs, but our reservoirs are principally built as water supply structures, and that's the way we operate them, except in the winter, right? I mean, this is one of the things that everybody forgets that in the winter, Take a, let's take this wet year that we're having in 2023. We're going to end up with more water than we know what to do with in the fall. And I know what we're going to do is we're going to have to let that water go. So we make room for potential floods next winter. Creating tension between flood managers and people wanting to see a full reservoir for water supply. So much of how that's operated is based on manuals and calendars that were put into place 30, 40, 50 years ago and things change. Daniel is a third generation farmer in the Central Valley. He, like many other farmers, relies on water coming from Northern California. If you look back, we have cycles. We have wet cycles and dry cycles in the state. And that's what a lot of the reservoirs and canal systems were built for was to help manage that. But with a growing population, these water supply structures are starting to get stretched close to their breaking point. Drew Lassard with the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation that runs full says this concern is guiding managers to rethink reservoir operations. Where do we get to that point where we can ask no more of it? Probably we're getting close to that, uh, but we're still looking at ways that we can make and gain efficiencies. Drew says part of making Folsom more efficient will be expanding its capacity. The Corps has authorization to raise Folsom Dam three feet. Making room for even more storage. Another project in the works? updating operation manuals. These will rely on improving forecasts, giving reservoir managers more certainty about how much water to let out and how much water they can keep in. It's sort of the software. The hardware has been built and now it's how do we work the software on how we route things. Folsom is sometimes called the little dam that could. Even beyond flood control and water supply, it's also the first responder when it comes to sending water south towards the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta to help keep the water fresh and not salty. This is quite possibly one of the biggest bones of contention for water wasted out to sea. That seems to be the, the bigger issue that I see is usually environmental groups aren't that eager to work with farmers or look at growers that are south of the Delta as big evil corporations. Daniel says farmers are constantly put in a corner, blamed for wasting water, but he feels there are still solutions out there. I think a reservoir in the right place would be a great tool for us to use. An American River Basin study found that more upstream reservoirs closer to the base of the Sierra might in fact be the answer to some of our climate whiplash with more rain instead of snow falling in the Sierra. One project being considered is the Alder Reservoir. It's strategically located so that when there's large rain events, we could be capturing that water directly, or as the snow melts, we're also able to capture it too and relieve some of that operational pressure on Folsom. Helping with water supply, reducing flood risk, and providing cold water releases for certain fish species. As we saw this past winter, Folsom was releasing water because there's just not enough storage capacity in Folsom. So this would be able to allow this water to be captured versus spilled where it wouldn't be able to be usable. The idea for this reservoir has been on the book since 1916 when a lot of agricultural growth was happening in El Dorado County. People needing water went looking upstream. So this would be a part of a system of reservoirs uh, along the South Fork of the American River. The bottom part would be Folsom Reservoir. And as you go upstream, there were numerous up to 16 reservoirs planned at that time. 
This is the only one still being considered due to its location with a deep canyon perfect for storing cold water, which will also help reduce evaporation loss. The system that we have in place that really sort of began in the gold rush and is where we are today, what I would set is the highest priority. We are facing a rapid change in climate. The atmosphere is taking water away from us, so we are going to have to adapt to increasing scarcity. And the weather team's investigation continues tomorrow with a look at our groundwater and what can be done to store more water.